Well, YouTube, it's been a little while. <clears throat> but I wanted to take a moment on this Easter Sunday, April uh, 16th, I think, um, to say good morning, happy Easter, and to talk a little bit about axillary breast tissue. So I guess, um, I think you guys will probably remember, I've been complaining about like, there's something in my armpit and it's different than the capsule that I had around my scar for my lymph nodes. And it's kind of puffy and don't really understand, but it feels thicker and meatier, um, meatier than my, when I had to have this scar tissue um, aspirated because there was some fluid inside there. So I finally went back to the doctor a couple of weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to vlog since then because I went on a trip to go see my daughter um, in New York and meet my brand new grandson who will be three weeks old this coming Tuesday. <coughs> so in that time I went and saw the doctor and then I did a whole bunch of research. So um, my breast surgeon, I went to go see her and say, something not right here. Um, it's not actually that much, but I can see it. So if I, there's a space right here in my armpit that is not as smooth as this armpit. And actually, if I feel this armpit, I can sort of feel some sort of, I don't know, thickness, but it still has like a smoothness to it. Like, oh, yeah, it's exactly how my armpit should feel. On this side, I have an, a place that stands out and might be partly accentuated or underlined by the fact that I have my lymph node excision here. Um, but there's definitely a place about this big that is some type of a meaty kind of um, lump in my armpit. So I went and asked the doctor about it and she said, right, yeah, it's um, nothing to be worried about. It's breast tissue. And I said, this is, this is my armpit. <clears throat> We're talking about my, not my breast that you cut out my, my armpit. And she was like, right. So it's called axillary breast tissue. So I did a little bit of research uh, and there is something called axillary breast tissue or the tail of Spence. Believe it or not, um, your breasts actually, for some reason, the tail of Spence starts early on when you first get breasts. And then it's supposed to sort of like recede into the breast itself so that you have breasts and this little tail sort of makes its way into the rounded shape that is your breast. Um, or it converts itself into fat. At least that's what the Googles say. Um, I did look at breastcancer.org and other more reputable sites, uh, National Medical Institute, and it's a thing. Google it, Tale of Spence, kind of crazy. Um, I will put a couple of links and um, kind of give you a sense of where I did some of my research, but also kind of here's, um, here's a picture that, it, that sort of points out where the Tale of Spence is. So isn't that kind of weird? There's a... So I actually, my bigger concern is, well, I will, now I will do monthly breast exams in my armpit to see if I'm getting breast cancer, which would be really disconcerting. Uh, but it's actually possible to get breast cancer there. I may ask my plastic surgeon if while he is in here, um, transferring that fat for my liposuction procedure I'm about to have. Um, if he will consider, you can liposuction this out, I guess. Um, I don't know what, what his concerns would be about that, but I will consider it. So, uh, the mystery is solved. My armpit issue is actually um, breast material that is left behind. Now, in my mastectomy, unlike other people's mastectomies, I was not cut around the nipple um, so that they could get all the breast material from the front. They didn't open me up here and go in this way. They cut me underneath here, as you guys have seen in many of my videos. So my scar is here, and so they had to come up and grab the breast tissue and cut it out. Uh, and so that breast tissue was just missed. It was in my armpit, 
So in reaching from below, they would have cut out all that they would have thought is breast tissue. So I will permanently have this breast tissue here unless the plastic surgeon can do something about it. So happy Easter to me. Uh, breast tissue in the armpit. Uh, the things you learn about your body when you have a major medical issue. Um, I was actually surprised to see that in some women this actually is, is rather large. And that when you are breastfeeding, the axillary breast tissue or the tail of Spence can actually fill with milk uh, and get really hard. Or other women have it and it's large enough that it actually creates sort of like a small, a mini breast inside their armpit. Um, so I'm actually grateful that I'm not in that situation. It is weird. Um, I'm seeing it as a um, little secret benefit that I have, that I still have some breast tissue. I always had really firm breasts um, and they were always really responsive to my cycle. So I always knew that my, my period was coming because um, once my breasts got really hard and tender, um, my period was going to be here within the next two days. Literally, I could wake up in two days and I like clockwork. Uh, so I guess maybe now I'll feel for my armpit to get tender and then I'll know that my period is inbound in a couple of days. So I'm trying to look at the lighter side of this super bizarre armpit situation. I do owe you guys an update and I will do one um, today, I still have to unpack all my bags and stuff around the bed behind me over here. And so I have to unpack, I have to do laundry, I have to get ready to go back to work tomorrow. And um, I'm going to a friend's house who moved away and I need to be there for the cleaners to do her move out cleaning. So I'll be on all of that and I can't do, I don't have enough time to do a full update for you today. But I will get on that um, really soon. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and as usual, Subscribe, meep, meep. Uh, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.